Founded in 2014, Agora.io is the inventor of communication platform as a service, delivering real-time communications for developers and business globally. Agora's API are the most widely adopted APIs for real-time communications around the world. Installed on more than 3 billion devices, Agora delivers over 600 million minutes per day. Over 150,000 registered apps are using Agora APIs. The Agora API enables voice calling, video calling, interactive broadcasting, and interactive gaming, and much more in the app. Agora APIs are used by Xiaomi, Momo, TikTok, the Meet Group, and the VIP Kit for building app real-time communications. Cocos and Agora.io launch a strategic and a comprehensive cooperation based on the game development engine and the casual game platform to achieve interoperability and complementarity in mobile games development and real-time audio and video capabilities. On the one hand, it allows more developers who use Cocos creators to quickly and conveniently enable real-time audio and video communications in the game. On the other hand, it can also help Agora developers to add casual game capabilities in the app, enhancing interactivity and attractiveness. Detailed convenience for developers include 1. Agora.io's SDK is deeply integrated in the Cocos Creator. In other words, if you are an Agora developer and a Cocos developer, when you use Cocos Creator to develop your game, you only need to check Agora service box to quickly enable real-time audio video calling capabilities to the game. Because both parties provide global technical services, gamers can also enjoy real-time voice calls across regions and countries. 2. Agora.io has deeply integrated the Cocos casual game platform project. Agora.io developers only need to choose to access the Cocos casual game platform, and then they can access the compact, leisure, and heavy casual game capabilities provided by the Cocos in their applications. Developers can enable, download, and integrate Agora.io SDK into the required game projects with one click, and through the Cocos unified GS APIs call, the Agora.io iOS, Android, and web SDK interface to quickly implement real-time audio features in each platform and project. Next, I will briefly explain the specific steps for you. Later, we will have a detailed video demonstration to show you how we complete one-click integration in a few minutes. Last but not least, Agora.io will also provide developers with the ability to implement game video calls in Cocos Greater Zone. Now let's talk about Agora and Cocos in gaming. Um, first is game industry trend. Uh, as you can see, with the development of mobile network, uh, mobile internet, the gaming industry, the, the increased speed has slowed down. Uh, the benefit of population becomes marginal and the market becomes more mature. This growth will be steady, um, but the game competition will be fierce. Uh, so after many years of market education, the Chinese gamers are more mature. They have more willingness to pay or and ability to pay. So in the future, the better gaming or more creative game will be the mainstream. Uh, to talk about the future of the gaming, we need to consider the impact of the coronavirus disease 19. Um, according to the market research, we can see that um, even though the, the scale of the Chinese gamers are reaching to its floor, about 12% user say they don't play games that often, it's because of the disease uh, and the quarantine that everybody needs to stay at home, they started to play games to kill time. 
uh, you can say that there's still a lot of potentials for us to dig. Those potentials will be realized in the future games as better and get better games are coming out. And also, a lot of users uh, say that they will continue the habit of game playing after the COVID-19. That means the game has some attracting attractiveness to those users. The ability to maintain those attractiveness depends on the conflicts of game time versus daily routine. And so in the current games, it is required, it is a must have to create more plain, uh, plain ways to use this scattered fragmented time to reduce the conflicts with everybody's daily routine. Uh, to fulfill, you know, they can light play uh, instead of uh, spending a lot of hours on one game. And sometimes, or if that doesn't work, uh, we need to push users with different games, lighter games, to maintain this game's activity, gamers' activity, and even sometimes convert them to core gamers. So the key issue is to have light slash heavy. Um, light means you can use the really small time from 30 seconds to five minutes. Heavy gamers normally spend hours before their computer screens. Um, you know, right now after the COVID, uh, a lot of people get back to work. There might be some customer loss. So it is a must for the game developers to have more ways to play, uh, reaching to more of the market. For example, the MOBA game, uh, stimulation, social board games, IO games, it is natural to have light versus heavy. Uh, it's quite perfect to have that game playing method. Uh, in tower defense, casual games, um, developers can add some of the heavy games without burdening the light players. In MMORPG, action, adventure, strategy, those kind of games, uh, we can add some light tasks or features in different platforms to offer more options. And one of the ways to uh, adding the light slash heavy play method is to enable audio and radio real-time communication. For example, the real-time voice with board games, removing the board games from offline to online, uh, besides how we play it, we also need to bring the real-time communications. Uh, not only Agora.io provide audio real-time communication, but also video is on the table. With the features of the microphone and channel control, uh, you can set the rules of game playing and communications. Agora SDK also provides beautification of voice, change of voice to help users to ease the fear of the social activities. Uh, Real-time voice with IO games, no installation, no account creation. Uh, those games are mostly short, about three minutes. Um, with the capability of real-time audio, uh, you can increase competitiveness, collaboration, and social uh, goals. Team members can work together with the command of audio voice, um, and they can experience better and better game experience. Real-time voice with tower defense. Uh, with the trend today, tower defense besides the single player mod, uh, we're adding online code defense PvP three versus three. Um, well, the ex the users can in the intense play fight. They need to worry about how what the strategy is, how to communicate with their teamworks to achieve the victory. There are also other kinds of games, for example, MMORPG, it's a small team leading and uh, uh, team combat. 
in real intense operation fightings, uh, audio communication is a must have to call for help, making strategy for fight and uh, team play. They all can be achieved by audio communications. Uh, in board games, uh, besides traditional, you know, board chit chat, uh, they can increase the level of social engagement and uh, add a lot of uh, activity to their gameplay. While Cocos is an open platform ecosystem with a great support for cross-platform, which save a lot of time for developers, um, they can help make better content. While Agora SDK can help the developers create a great social experience Based on Cocos 2D and Cocos Creator Engine, developers only need a few steps to enable audio or video real-time communications with really tiny file size, low memory, and low CPU consumptions. While the developers, with the help of the Cocos and uh, Agora, uh, we can create really more engaging game experience. Hello, in this video, we will talk about how to enable Agora.io plugin for real-time voice call service in your Cocos Creator with just one click. First, click Create a project and wait for the project to be created. Now, the project has been created successfully. Click the Service button on the top right corner, and there's a list of plugins, and one of them is Agora Voice, which is a plugin for real-time voice call. Click Enable button. If you haven't registered Coco's app ID, you need to create one and connect your existing app ID. We've done that already, so now I just need to select my existing app ID and click Connect. Now click Switch On on the top right corner. As you can see, Agora IO plugin has been integrated in your project. And we can see Agora GS file, which provide real-time voice call APIs. By calling these APIs, you'll be able to use Agora.io service and enable real-time voice call in your application. This is Agora and the Cocos education gamification use case. Um, why do we combine the gaming industry and the education industry? Because there are many similarities that we can take advantage of for our purposes. Uh, if you think about it, when students and even sometimes adults are more willing to spend time to play games instead of study. Is that really because the games are more fun? If you watch closely, um, when people play games, they're just tapping the mouse, clicking the keyboard, touching the iPad screens. Those are repetitions. Similarity to study, you're just memorizing, reciting, and computation. A lot of things are repetitive. So what's the key difference? is that games can give you instant feedback with the strong social uh, functions. Uh, when you are getting instant feedbacks, you have more motivation because you can instantly know what you're doing is right or wrong. Both efficiencies and effectiveness will be improved. Furthermore, if you are doing this in a group with the social properties, um, there are companionship, there are competitors, uh, there'll be a lot of more fun and uh, people are just trying to be social. That's one of our most uh, native instinct. Now I'm going to give you four, uh, a few examples of how the gamification can be used in education. Uh, number one is uh, your experience increase. Uh, make it a number. Quantify how we study. Um, and when you see that number increase little by little, it will give you a lot of feedback, give you a lot of motivation to keep going. 
early days uh, when we study, they are very difficult to quantify uh, all our actions. But right now, with the help of computer, uh, we can just you know taking uh, each one word or each uh, algorithm into consideration so that you have a little bit of increase in your experience. Number two is achievement. Uh, when you have enough experience, we'll give you a milestone, give you a gold medal, so that you know um, you have done something particularly great and uh, you're reaching, reach, you reaching for the next milestone. Number three is explore the unknown. Uh, humans are by nature curious about things they don't know. And by designing the process of education similar to the games, you are exploring the unknown territory. Keep the users um, passionate about this process. Number four is visual stimulation. Nowadays, game, games are becoming um, better and better in terms of how it looks, how it got played, because we are very sensitive to what we see. And we can be intrigued by a very beautiful graphic. And that is why, you know, the education application, sometimes they have a very beautiful design or very fluent flow because that can help user to uh, make easy uh, learning easier. For example, if you answer something right, there'll be a big thumbs up for you and a lot of uh, cheering up sound. Uh, that will help the student to keep motivated. So Agora and Cocos, um, we have a complete solution for uh, education gamification use cases. Uh, Cocos has two uh, platforms, Cocos 2D SDK and Cocos Creator. Um, and Cocos Creator specifically is based on Agora Electron SDK, which is easier to integrate and with better performance, uh, which we recommend a lot. And next is a brief uh, video demo of how Agora, one of our Agora customers, Huahua Sui, how they gamify their education application, increasing a lot of interest for both kids and parents. And they're super popular, get one of the most uh, financing in their uh, industry and their uh, application is based on Coco's development. So let's watch this video demo. Yishushishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishish